Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Vitos. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is doing great. So today we got a different type style video. It's more like a drama alert type thing. And uh, we're actually going to be breaking down what is going on with one of the best teachers, the funniest teachers in my entire school. And a lot of you guys that subscribe to me on here are from my school. So I figured I might as well help everyone out and understand and clear up what's going on with Mr. Rogi because everyone's been talking to me about it. And thanks to Kyle Han, he gave me a great idea on making a video about it. So, you know, we're here making a video about it. So let's break down the details and figure out what's going on with this teacher and why he should not be getting in any trouble because this dude is an OG since day one. Let's get into this. Okay guys, so getting into this, all of the stuff that I'm about to share with you in this video is all students knowledge. None of this is administrator knowledge, staff knowledge, all of this is rumors, facts, and statements that are going around online and you know person to person socializing and just basically what's going on with this teacher. So to start off, basically a, f a few days ago earlier this week, so the teacher posted this tweet at the beginning of the week right and it basically was talking about how climate change is fake and he was just saying it as a controversial topic type thing I'm assuming you know just trying to get some reactions from some of his students and now there is a big deal because these kids some of his students were getting offended by what he said and his parents are getting offended or their parents are getting offended as well so they reached out to the school or reached out to the teacher and had him delete the tweet and he deleted the tweet and then uh, later on students are uh, coming out saying that they're offended by them being called snowflakes apparently so called apparently the teacher goes up to the class and says hey my little snowflakes like how are you guys doing today as a joke Maybe it's because it's snowing outside, maybe it's because it's starting to become winter, you know, but apparently it's offensive to some students getting called a snowflake, because you know what, you look like a fucking snowflake. So now, we got that, we got the tweet about climate change, and then today, we got the big news where this kid is interrupting the school day by taking a picture of this dude's presentation while he is trying to teach the class he takes a picture of a slide on the presentation that is showed right here and basically it somehow insulted this kid because of the graphic images on the slide itself so he takes a picture of this slide right and he sends it over to his mom and you know student parent kid gets offended oh let me uh, go do something about it so this mom decides to take it to social media she posts on Facebook right and this Facebook post gets around and gets screenshotted by one of the parents in this community group this private community group it's a local community group about like equal rights feminist rights all that you know like and personally I could really care less like I'm not against or for any of that I'm just kind of like neutral on all of this so she posted this Facebook post basically like just railing this teacher about his teaching ways and like what offends their students and now we got all these issues where this mom is going to the Board of Education and she's trying to get this teacher fired or something done about his teaching methods and if I'm being completely honest I doubt this teacher will get fired he's got so many years in the in the West Geauga system so many good reviews from students he's built a rapport with the staff there's a good chance that this situation will just be a slap on the wrist for this teacher because he's such a great teacher because he's loved by so many kids I doubt they'll actually take it to the next level and try and fire him but we're just gonna take some preventative measures and we're gonna do our best to make sure that that is not even possible so in reality this whole situation is just unbelievable because this is like one of the coolest teachers in the entire school and like I just really wanted to you know spread all the information and my insights on what I know and maybe if you guys know anything you can comment it down below and feel free to comment what you think on this situation because personally I think that Rogi is a great teacher 
I think he teaches a great class. I think he knows how to teach it very well, and I think his jokes are hilarious. The dude's funny as hell. He knows how to keep the, the class entertained while he's teaching, which a lot of teachers fail to do every single day. And this teacher never did that. You would go to his class for an AP government class, it's not easy to keep that govern it's not easy to keep those kids entertained. So the fact that he was able to figure out a way to do that was very, very cool. And if you're asking me, I think that this teacher should be able to teach how he wants to teach the class and how his the majority of his students want him to teach the class. But you know, as an educator, there is certain guidelines and standards to how you have to act in school and out of school. So maybe there's going to be some penalties. I'm not sure. I posted this tweet on my uh, Twitter yesterday or earlier today and it was a poll saying you know like does this teacher deserve a penalty or are these kids just soft because they can't take a few jokes once in a while you know so a lot of people as you can see voted that these kids are just soft because this teacher is amazing he's loved by a lot of kids in the school even parents who have graduated from the school who had him 20 years ago say that this teacher is one of the best teachers I can't believe this parent said this about this teacher so it's just really an outrage in the community right now in the local community of what's going on and I'd love to hear what you guys think down below and I hope this video was very resourceful for you guys and you learned something that maybe you didn't know about this situation but if you if you want to share share with me what you guys think about this situation and about everything that's going on with Rogi right now, then please share it in the comments down below. And don't forget, we got vlog number two coming Friday, so be ready for that at 7 p.m. sharp. I'll have it uploaded to you guys at 7 p.m. on Friday, and it will be fun. It will be lit. It will be cool. So let's get going on this, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little drama alert type video I got going here. Sorry for the low quality on the recording. I'm actually recording from my laptop right now. I tried recording this from my iPhone, but my iPhone was just taking way too long to transfer the, the files to my computer, so I wasn't able to edit it on time. So I'm just recording from my PC because I can edit it quickly and get this uploaded to you guys on time. So, you know, I hope you guys learned something in this video. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in vlog number two. Peace.